Keep it moving, all right. Our next one, Dylan Mahler, Dan McCarty, come on down! All right, guys, who wants to go first? I'll be going first. All right, Dan's gonna go first. Dan, all the way over there on the right, here we go. Dan, Dylan McCarty, here you guys know the drill. Three, two, one! Ghost. Dylan lives in a 100 square foot apartment by himself. Recently, he got two cats, because that's the only way he's ever going to be bringing pussy home. Still more than Dan. <laughs> uh, Dan was actually in the Navy, folks. He is a veteran. He managed to climb the ranks all the way up to meal team six. <laughs> Just eating my way through the enemies, baby. <laughs> Dylan is a rapper. I'll let that sink in for a minute. Thinks of himself as a slim shady, but with that beer belly and bald head, he's really more of a chubby baby. That's okay. <laughs> I'm bald, no cap. <laughs> Dan has been told he has a very punchable face. Does. When his dad broke the news, he said, it's not your fault, son. You get it from your mom. <laughs> Dylan, <laughs> I just love it. This guy's like, yeah, he does. He does. He does. Dylan looks like the kind of, Dylan dresses like the kind of guy who'd get caught sniffing women's panties. <laughs> but I assure you, the only women's panties he's sniffing tonight is the pair that he's wearing right now. Okay. <laughs> we can change that. <laughs> uh, Dan was actually a Boy Scout leader until they found out he was leading boys into his van. <laughs> he got to scout the good ones. <laughs> Dil Dylan looks like he masturbates to his own feet pics. <laughs> I'm into hands, you <laughs> Dan has watched so much porn, he's kind of seen it all. He had to start making it himself. You can find him on OnlyFans at Four Eyes, One Cup. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan, Dylan gets a lot of shit for people telling him that he looks like a school shooter. I think that's... I think that's bullshit, because if you know the guy, when he finally snaps, it's definitely going to be racially motivated. That's <laughs> saying he likes kids too much, people. <laughs> too much. Bang, bang. <laughs> Dan is 35, still lives with his parents, ladies. He didn't want to give them empty nest syndrome. He's holding out for a double suicide. <laughs> Dylan's just upset that my parents still talk to me. That's okay. <laughs> uh, Dylan is actually a big fan of the war going on right now in the Middle East. He's like, finally, a war where I could root against both sides. That's <laughs> Free nobody. <laughs> Dan's an example of, you are what you eat. <laughs> if what you eat is a fat lesbian pussy. <laughs> one more, guys, one more. <laughs> battle, 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 battle. 
Dylan has the voice of a mortician <laughs> that finds all of his dates in the morgue. That's uh, gives a whole new meaning to cracking open a cold one. That's. <laughs> resting sad voice. <laughs> this really happened. Dan found out he was fucking his cousin and kept doing it. <laughs> he admits it was his first cousin, but hopefully not his last. Okay. You talk like you just woke up from a concussion. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. Punch drunk Dylan Mahler and this fucking guy. All right. <laughs> All right, Katie Kincaid, I see you there ready. Oh, man. You know, the thing is, I know the only reason they dressed like that is so Nashad would talk to them. <laughs> Call back. No, uh, this was really fun watching every man have been trapped in a conversation without a party. <laughs> But here's, uh, it, ah, God, slow start, my guys. Slow start, and there was a lot of tepid laughter. Um, the women's panties joke from Dan was good, but also never say panties again, please. <laughs> and then we finally got, we got a, we got a kickoff with the fat lesbian pussy. You love that, you love that. Um, but then uh, Dan with the, uh, or Dylan with the, um, the comeback with the fucking his cousin. But let's be clear, you've both fucked your cousin before. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Um, I will say, I think that, I think uh, at the end of it, uh, Dylan had a few more pops, in my opinion. So I'm going to go with Dylan. All right, one for Dylan, one for Dylan, one for Dylan. Mr. Derek. Uh, yeah, this one had a real uh, slow start to it, for sure. Uh, Dan, great soccer mom energy up there. And uh, <laughs> Dylan, you look like a guy who failed at rap after he failed at crab fishing. That's what I, uh, I got from you. And, uh, but uh, I gotta say, at the end, I think you really pulled it together at the end, Dylan, and uh, I agree with, agree with Katie. You, you, you won it for me. I'm gonna give it to All Dylan. All right, two for Dylan, two for Dylan. Mr. Chris Grieco. Nice. That was so much fun. I like that a lot. Dylan, you sound like the giant talking tree from The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Uh, and Dan, I don't know, were you, I, you were doing comedy. I, I figured that out at the end. I thought the whole time, I didn't know, I thought he was trying to sell me a timeshare. But I, you know, I thought it was great. You guys had a good battle. Uh, Dylan, I thought you won it. Uh, great job, guys. All right, close us out, Alan Ford. If anybody looking to buy weed, Dylan is selling out his 97 Chevy out in the back. Along with the chain. Uh, this is a, this is all right battle. It got towards the end, it was good. Uh, Ty, uh, I almost called you Tyler. Dan, well, like dudes, it's fine. Dude, right? Yeah, no, he literally looks like Tyler Fowler if he ate all the food, like Tyler Fuller. That's what he looks like. He does. I'm just gonna point that out, but I'm gonna have to give this to Dylan. The fucking the cousin thing was funny to me, so I'm giving it to Dylan. All right, give it up for them, Dan and Dylan. Get up, Dylan is your winner. Dylan McCartney is your winner. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. All right, give it up for them. You guys having a good time? You guys enjoying this, huh? Yeah. All right, all right, guys. We have a couple more battles to go. This one's pretty much.